Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Windsor Brokers uh, Daily Market Outlook for Thursday, 13th of uh, September 2012. Uh, of course, main focus today is on the FOMC meeting as the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve's, uh, Reserve appears uh, to set, uh, set to launch a third round of uh, unconventional uh, monetary stimulus on today's meeting, uh, while signaling that uh, weak uh, U.S. economy might uh, warrant ultra low, ultra low interest rates uh, for at least another three years. Uh, the markets uh, hold steady as uh, Euro is just off its uh, recent highs uh, posted yesterday at 129.35, uh, while uh, gold was uh, slightly affected by yesterday's uh, sharp uh, sell-off on uh, profit-taking, returning back to 17.30 zone uh, that, hold, that held uh, after closing of U.S. Uh, session and the uh, overnight session moving in the uh, quite uh, narrow range. The Assad Euro is uh, still uh, steady and is uh, still uh, aiming uh, higher uh, ahead of uh, today's uh, highly anticipated uh, FOMC uh, meeting uh, with, the, of course, uh, Q3 announcement uh, expected to, to be released uh, later uh, on the day. Uh, what the Fed will do, the major uh, majority of uh, analysts and commentators expect uh, some form of uh, easing or at minimum uh, uh, everyone expects uh, some kind of uh, language uh, change, maybe verbal easing or uh, so, but uh, uh, not uh, everyone also believes that the uh, Fed will embark uh, on another bond buying uh, action and uh, basically plenty of uh, doubts uh, remain about the likely efficiency of uh, such a move. Uh, from the other side, uh, Fed uh, Chairman Ben Bernanke has made clear the central bank uh, will not sit uh, uh, idly on the uh, while uh, or why, by while unemployment uh, currently at 8.1 percent remains uh, uh, so far above uh, levels uh, consistent uh, with a healthy economic recovery. Also, many economics, um, economists are confident uh, that uh, uh, Fed's policy setting a Federal Open uh, Market Committee will deliver a third round of uh, quantitative easing, a so-called QE3, and. Uh, 60% uh, chance is seen uh, based on the, some uh, uh, polls. Uh, the FOMC will announce its uh, decision at about uh, uh, 1630 GMT at the close of the uh, two-day meeting with the press uh, conference uh, uh, seen uh, later on the day. Uh, some uh, scenarios uh, uh, seen uh, on the possible uh, Either, either side uh, direction. Uh, the low rates uh, pledge extended uh, to mid-2015 uh, are seen as a uh, uh, bearish uh, for the dollar, while uh, uh, extension uh, of the low rates uh, beyond uh, 2015 would be very bearish for the dollar. Uh, opening extended, uh, open-ended uh, Q3 will also put uh, pressure on the single uh, currency, while uh, limited uh, QE3 uh, sees the dollar bearish, but magnitude, uh, again, to depend on size and the length of the program. The euro uh, still sees a sort of uh, risk of unfolding, as uh, most of the uh, things uh, that happened in past uh, week and uh, now that are uh, due to come out uh, seems to be already uh, priced uh, in, especially with the QE3 and the uh, possibility of uh, buy the room or sell the fact is uh, quite high at uh, this point, uh, despite Euro still uh, having a quite uh, strong uh, sentiment and uh, continuing to trend uh, higher uh, unobstructed by quite overextended uh, conditions uh, seen on the lower time frames uh, uh, studies that are continuously uh, close or at overbought uh, territory. That is an uh, initial signal for uh, corrective action. Uh, so far, uh, only shallow dips uh, were seen uh, as a result of uh, these signals. Uh, more clues, of course, we are going to have uh, today when uh, Fed, uh, Fed comes uh, and Mr. Bernanke announces uh, the final uh, decision and the verdict of uh, today's, uh, actually, today's uh, meeting. Uh, from the calendar uh, for today, uh, we have, uh, we are starting with the Swiss uh, a PPI at 7.15 GMT, minus 0.2% forecast compared to minus 0.3 in uh, July, uh, with the Swiss National Bank is uh, due to uh, release their uh, rate, uh, labor rate for a uh, fourth quarter, 
and they're expected to stay between zero and the point uh, 25 unchanged uh, from the previous uh, meeting with the monetary policy assessment uh, uh, seen uh, shortly after the announcement of the rate. Uh, um, widely expectation also is set uh, to Federal, the Swiss National Bank to keep its uh, peg on uh, Euro Swiss and, uh, and not to let it uh, again uh, below uh, 120, the limit that was uh, put earlier uh, this year. And that was uh, basically all from the European uh, side, uh, while uh, more data coming uh, from uh, Canada and the United States. Uh, at 1230 GMT's Canadian no new housing uh, price index for July, that is expected uh, to tick higher by 0.3% compared to uh, June's uh, increase by 0.2 percent uh, cap uh, Canadian capacity utilization rate uh, for the second uh, uh, quarter is also seen uh, on a positive track 81.1 percent is uh, forecast for the second quarter compared compared to 80.7 uh, uh, capacity utilization seen in the first quarter of the uh, year 2012 and then a series of data from United States starting uh, with the U.S. Uh, jobless claims uh, weekly release uh, that are again seen uh, higher. Today's forecast is 370,000 uh, compared to 365,000. Uh, 365, uh, just to remind that uh, past two weeks releases showed some uh, easing in the jobless claims, but uh, nothing significant uh, to ease the current uh, pressure seen on the U.S. Uh, job market, especially in light of uh, last week's release of uh, non-farm payrolls that came in uh, quite disappointing, 89,000 uh, versus the forecast of uh, approximately 130,000 uh, new jobs. The PPI from U.S. August release is due at, uh, uh, at the same time at 12.30. 1.2% is uh, uh, forecast for August release compared to 0.3%, so it's uh, quite uh, higher. Uh, while core PPI is slightly expected, uh, expected slightly lower, 0.2% uh, in August compared to 0.4% in uh, July. And then, of course, the uh, release uh, from uh, Federal uh, Reserve set 1630 GMT, the interest rates, uh, the low rate uh, at 0 to 0.25% is expected uh, to stay unchanged uh, uh, with the later uh, at 18.00 basically the press conference and the announcement of the uh, further uh, policy of the Federal Reserve. So this is uh, basically what uh, we are looking for and what is going to have the uh, biggest impact in the markets as uh, we already gave some uh, uh, possible uh, scenarios uh, for uh, this and uh, most likely some uh, stronger uh, action in the market uh, uh, could be expected uh, upon release of uh, the US uh, Fed uh, uh, rate decision and the, of course, the more important uh, uh, continuation or not uh, of the uh, quantitative easing in number three. And uh, we're going to take a look now on the technicals and see the latest movements. As I said, Euro remains uh, unobstructed in the strong uh, up move with the 129.35 has seen so far. This is the high of uh, yesterday. Brief uh, corrective action just slightly below 129, 128.75 was contained by ascending uh, 20 days uh, moving average on the hourly. This is very near term uh, action. 129.30 seen and the opening of uh, European session and the, the pair holds steady despite uh, uh, hourly studies already started uh, to point uh, lower and the four hour ones being uh, overextended. Uh, uh, all uh, indicators are in overbought uh, zone yet uh, no any uh, s stronger effect. Uh, on the current uh, price action, no stronger uh, reversal. Immediate uh, support, uh, we have it overnight slow at 128.75 and then uh, uh, 128.13, 128.13, uh, 14. This is the yesterday spike low and the previous uh, high of uh, 7th of uh, September. This is seen as initial uh, uh, support for a uh, euro dollar and uh, uh, basically any any dip below 128.1. Uh, one, uh, below 128 pardon uh, would uh, be seen as a trigger for a, a stronger uh, reversal of course the 12785 is the trend line uh, support so uh, dips below 128 12780 and the higher platform at uh, 127 5060 uh, zone uh, could be a signal uh, for a deeper reversal also we have 12791 38.2 percent retracement of the uplink from uh, 12558 to 12938 and uh, 35 pardon and the break below these levels 127 
pardon, 128.00, 127.80 could be a signal of some stronger action. On the op opposite side, the uh, break above uh, 129.35, that is, uh, the price is basically uh, there at uh, this point is set uh, to open the next uh, targets. This is also, this also marks the 61.8% uh, uh, retracement and uh, this is actually reinforcing the barrier at 129.35, 61.8% percent retracement of the broader 134.85 to 120.42 descend and the, the is, it's the last barrier ahead of 130.00 uh, previous uh, range uh, floor and our next uh, target also psychological uh, resistance uh, seen as uh, our next uh, near term target as the pair remains in a very strong uh, uptrend uh, and uh, yet uh, no any uh, stronger uh, uh, reversal signal seen, seen on the daily chart uh, as uh, studies are still so showing some room towards the upside and the possibility of extension to 130.00 is uh, quite high of course a lot uh, now depends on the fundamentals and uh, today's release of uh, Federal uh, uh, Reserve and FOMC's the decision that uh, will uh, give us uh, uh, further direction for the most of the majors as said again risk of uh, possible uh, stronger reversal seen on the uh, possibility that a uh, lot of uh, uh, most of uh, uh, these news have already been priced in in the uh, latest uh, Euros rally and uh, this keeps actually risk uh, of uh, possible uh, further of possible reversal as I said uh, by the rumors of the fact uh, could be the likely scenario in the near term. Uh, similar to Euro sterling re st remains uh, steady after breaking and closing above 161.00, 161.30 uh, since so far this is yesterday's uh, high uh, with the strong rally still uh, aiming higher despite uh, daily studies are uh, already in the overbought uh, territory 162 remains as our uh, uh, next uh, target ahead of uh, uh, key barrier 163.0030 of April uh, uh, high uh, with the lower time frames uh, showing some uh, signals uh, of uh, exhaustion at this point as uh, 161.30 uh, hasn't been cleared on the renewed attempt 161.24 was seen in the late hours of Asian uh, session as the hourly studies started all to descend uh, lower and the four hour ones are uh, uh, overextended and the overbought uh, territory uh, possibility of uh, reversal is high but again a similar situation to Euro and uh, no significant uh, reaction corrective reaction was uh, uh, seen in the uh, recent uh, trading action uh, despite uh, uh, overbought uh, conditions uh, just brief uh, corrections and the uh, continuation of the strong uh, uptrend, uh, seeing more potential again uh, uh, towards uh, the upside, as said, the, hour, the daily uh, ones are uh, quite supportive and the possibility of extension towards uh, 162, our next target is uh, quite high in the near term. As on the other side, dollar yen is uh, losing uh, ground again as a uh, brief uh, recovery as uh, seen of uh, yesterday's uh, fresh low at 77.69 state capped uh, just under 78.00 previous uh, strong support and base now acting as initial resistance along with descending uh, 55 days uh, moving average keeping the upside uh, limited uh, with the fresh dips uh, ticking uh, one tick below our uh, uh, key support and the low of uh, 77.65 low of uh, 1st of uh, June but uh, overall negative uh, tone and the structure of the uh, daily studies uh, sees, of course, downside at high risk and the possible extension uh, lower would be signaling uh, the fresh uh, phase uh, lower as a part of the larger downtrend uh, from 84.17 that was interrupted by uh, three months uh, consolidation uh, above 77.65 that was limited on the upside uh, at uh, 80.61. Now fresh attack, attack uh, at the lowest levels is underway and clear break below 77.65 is set to open uh, a 77 uh, zone as the next uh, psychological target uh, with the extension down to 76 uh, low of 29th of uh, January and yearly low of uh, uh, dollar yen uh, seen as a likely scenario in case of a uh, break below 77.65 that would uh, likely trigger further uh, acceleration of the downtrend from 84.17 and the broader downtrend from uh, 2010 peak at 10.94.97. Uh, just briefly on the upside, 78.00 now acts as initial uh, resistance ahead of 78.20.30 uh, zone 
uh, reinforced by 55 days exponential moving average on the four hour chart. Uh, I would say at this point, uh, break above uh, 78.50 minimum and 78.80 is uh, our key barriers on the upside, 78.80, 79.00. Uh, basically, break, a regain of uh, 78.30, 50 uh, would provide a temporary relief, but uh, no significant action higher to be expected unless uh, we see a regain of uh, 78.80, 79.00 that for the time being stay out of reach. Of course, again, focus on the Fed's uh, decision today uh, that will uh, put more light in the current uh, major uh, price action. And the dollar Swiss uh, remains uh, under heavy pressure. It's better seen on the daily chart after uh, losing important uh, 94 uh, support, uh, 200 days moving average and the 61.8% retracement extending uh, losses through our initial uh, uh, support, uh, support at uh, 93.66 uh, and testing uh, 93.33 is the, our uh, next target, 15th of uh, March high with 93.39 seen so far and just ahead of uh, uh, important uh, supports at uh, 93.10 that marks uh, uh, trend line support, trend line of uh, 99, uh, pardon, 89.29 low of uh, 19th of uh, February 2012 and the 93.00 is around uh, figure uh, uh, support uh, as uh, daily studies are now enter entering oversold uh, territory yet no any signal of reversal seen like a scenario uh, would be in this, in this case a test of uh, the lower targets at uh, 93.10 and 93.00 the situation on the uh, lower time frame studies uh, shows a four hour chart uh, uh, study is extremely overextended and the oversold uh, uh, territory yet uh, uh, no any signal of stronger correction as the hourly started uh, to point higher. The brief consolidation at this point I would say uh, still limited uh, under 94.00 as our initial uh, resistance and being capped by descending uh, 20 days uh, moving average to provide the temporary relief and the avert immediate uh, downside risk uh, regain of uh, 94.00 and the uh, 94.35 uh, is uh, required uh, while break above uh, 94.80 and 95.00 is uh, basically uh, seen as a trigger for a stronger uh, corrective action. This also marks approximately 50% uh, uh, approximate pardon 61.8% of the latest uh, down leg uh, from uh, 9578 down to 9339 basically break above uh, 9480 and uh, 9500 is uh, seen as a trigger uh, for stronger uh, action and uh, uh, bring the pair uh, back from the dangerous uh, territory and further sliding as the overall picture remains uh, uh, very bearish as a part of the larger uh, down move from a 9970 peak of uh, 24 of uh, July 2012 and I said the gold yesterday uh, dipped uh, sharply following a, a strong uh, sell-off on the profit taking of uh, 1747 uh, yesterday's uh, fresh high dipping down to initial uh, support at uh, 1730, 1725 since so far just ahead of uh, 17, uh, 2430 uh, recent uh, base uh, floor and uh, so far holding a steady at this level but hourly structure is still is showing more uh, negative signals as uh, the price uh, continue, currently stands uh, below the moving uh, averages and the indicators are in the negative uh, territory uh, with the four hour uh, chart uh, action uh, so far uh, price uh, being uh, supported by 20 days exponential moving average but as we can see all the indicators are uh, sharply pointing lower and the loss of momentum at uh, this point uh, uh, could signal a stronger corrective action of the recent uh, strong rally. The latest up leg was from 1590 to 1747. Uh, 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 the first uh, significant support in case of a break below 1725 stands at uh, approximately 1710 uh, zone, whereas the previous high 55 days exponential moving average and the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement uh, uh, of 1590 to 1747 up leg stands. Uh, break below 1690-1685 uh, level that uh, marks approximately 38.2% uh, retracement and also equivalent to the higher base of uh, uh, first week of uh, September.
and also the trend line uh, support of uh, 1590 uh, basically if we see the break below this level then uh, uh, increased risk of uh, further uh, corrective action uh, would be seen uh, for gold and the current uh, tops uh, will be put on hold in favor of uh, stronger corrective action uh, set a strong uh, uh, bullish trend on the daily chart uh, with the uh, quite extended studies and the uh, pair, uh, the pairs price uh, again uh, uh, touching uh, the uh, channel uh, resistance uh, uh, might see some uh, hesitation at, uh, at this point but uh, generally uh, strong uh, bulls are likely to continue uh, whether uh, being just uh, congested in the uh, consolidative uh, action or uh, seeing some uh, stronger corrective action anything above uh, 1700 uh, level uh, would be uh, seen as a corrective uh, pullback uh, and the pre fresh extension higher would be targeting again our uh, uh, upside levels at uh, 1760 uh, 1762 I would say at this point let's just make sure 1716 uh, 1762 80 and 1790 is our key barrier on the downs on the upside as said uh, loss of uh, 1700 level uh, would be uh, bearish and there would be signal for a, a stronger correction uh, so far the price action remains congested within the narrow uh, consolidative uh, um, uh, consolidative range and this still sees uh, despite uh, uh, quite uh, negative uh, uh, signals uh, for a stronger uh, corrective action as uh, holds the hold steady ahead of um, I would say most likely the most of the markets uh, will uh, stay uh, steady around these uh, levels uh, ahead of uh, federal uh, uh, reserves uh, decision today that uh, will uh, trigger more action at, at, until then I think it's going to be most likely scenario is going to be sit and wait and uh, see what they will decide and then uh, we will take an action and uh, what we have left with the crude oil I think uh, let's take a brief look uh, yesterday's uh, break uh, above the range and the that dented the 98 uh, uh, barrier hasn't shown much of the action as the price uh, dipped again uh, below 9700, 9655 uh, since so far as uh, for our uh, structure is still uh, I would say keeping the downside uh, more vulnerable despite uh, 20 days uh, moving average so far uh, uh, keeping the downside uh, protected uh, while uh, our lease are more negative as the indicators are uh, already below their uh, midlines and the break uh, below the 55 days uh, moving average that has already been dented uh, would be a first signal of uh, stronger reversal and uh, most likely to signal the pair uh, back into the recent uh, range uh, of course uh, yesterday's uh, uh, break uh, would be seen as uh, a false break uh, any reversal uh, deeper uh, should hold above 9600 uh, that as a reference uh, level uh, al along with the 96.28 that is uh, 55 days uh, moving average in order to uh, possibly keep the upside in focus as the re recent uh, rally from uh, 94.09 low of 7th of uh, September still uh, stays intact and the current uh, reversals should be seen as uh, corrective as long as we are holding above 96.30, 96.00 otherwise uh, confirmation of the further range trading and possible extension uh, lower is not ruled out uh, regain of uh, 9804 that was yesterday's highs uh, to open again uh, our uh, next target at uh, 9827 key barrier and the possible extension uh, towards uh, 100 level uh, would be quite likely scenario uh, 9658 uh, I forgot to mention it's the uh, 200 days moving average and also basically holding above uh, this level as uh, uh, the most important uh, would be a good signal for further extension higher despite the uh, daily studies are uh, aiming uh, pointing uh, lower at this uh, point and they uh, uh, still see risk of uh, further uh, uh, congestion there uh, between uh, 94 and uh, 98 at uh, this point but uh, overall uh, bullish trend is still intact as uh, the corrective action uh, did not uh, show much of reversal so far even uh, not hitting 23.6 as the first Fibonacci 
level. So uh, more focus, I would say, at this point is still uh, seen towards the upside, especially if uh, Fed comes with the more uh, dollar negative action that that will be uh, prop for the crude oil commodities, of course, to extend gains and possibly test our uh, uh, next uh, target in the short term and psych strong psychological barrier at uh, $100 per barrel. That was all for today. Do we have any questions uh, at this point? Uh, or we can conclude the session. Yeah, it seems uh, no questions for today. Yeah, of course, uh, we are all sitting and uh, waiting for the for Mr. Bernanke to come and uh, tell us uh, what they have uh, decided. So keep an eye on the markets uh, and await uh, today's uh, Federal Reserve's uh, decision. Uh, thank you for uh, being with us and uh, we expect to see you again uh, tomorrow when I think we are going to have a lot uh, to say after uh, tonight's uh, Fed's decision. Uh, wish you a nice day and uh, very successful trading. Good luck.